my call. My pleasure. I was calling because you talk a lot about regulating emotion. Yes. And I wanted to ask you what exactly does that mean? Could you use an yeah. example of how someone does that successfully? Well, it's a, it's, a di it's a concept that people aren't accustomed to talking about. And I was thinking, funny you would call it this, I was thinking about it last night, that I don't think I've really properly communicated what it is. The, the, the best way I can help you understand it is if you feel turmoil internally, you feel negative feelings that you can't escape, and you end up making choices or engaging in behaviors to escape those feelings because you can't regulate them autonomously. You can't regulate them by yourself. It turns out there's a lot of research that um, tells us how humans normally develop that regulatory capacity, and it's actually in an interpersonal setting. It's something called intersubjectivity. I'm, I'm working on a book on this exact issue right now. I'm hoping the book will help people understand this very issue. But it's an ability to regulate and feel whole and present at all times with your feelings. And that's a tall order. That is a tall order. Does that help? It does, because I, I find myself sometimes going to food and I stop myself. There it is. That's a, that's, it's Again, it's reaching outside of yourself to feel better exactly. when you can't regulate autonomously. And some of that's normal. I mean, none of us are perfect regulators, but sometimes it gets out of hand, and if it has an addiction or behaviors ensue where you aren't so happy, then it's something to look into.